Hi, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well as we head into the winter solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so let's take a look at the cards for the week. This reading will be good for any sun, moon, or rising Leo sign. Uh, for this reading, I look at the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes, and I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and begin your reading. Okay, so we have the world, Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor, also the Major Arcana. So the world, we see the woman here with her purple sash and kind of surrounded by the greenery. And this is a card of completion. This is a card of reaching what you would hope to accomplish, your dream, your goal, your task, and you feel good about it. It's, it's a time to be celebrated, to be recognized, and to kind of like take your victory lap. And from the journey that you've been on with the world, you feel happy, you feel fulfilled, you feel that perhaps that the effort has been worth it. And so with, with the world, we, we think of the word completion, fulfillment. And where does that leave us? Does it mean that this cycle closes and that we never do anything again after that? No. It means that we're ready for something else to bring into a new journey, a new opportunity, a new cycle. This one has closed. This one has come full circle, really. And now you're ready to, to go down a new journey, a new path. Understanding that within this path here, in this getting to this place, it probably hasn't been easy and that you've had to make decisions and sacrifices and had the ups and downs. But now's the time to say, thank you, universe, I've got this. I'm happy. I feel good about this. And what's next for me to bring my talents and my love and my light into the world? So with this uh, completion here, here we have the Seven of Pentacles. And in the Seven of Pentacles, we see the man kind of taking a break from work and looking at the pentacle bush. And he may be thinking, gosh, I'm working hard. Is this ever going to finish? Am I ever going to be able to harvest these pentacles? What am I doing? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? So sometimes it's really natural to question ourselves and our projects and our life and what we're doing. And we take a step back and we contemplate or we think or we review the process. Am I doing everything I can do? You know, if I was trying to um, train for a race and then I'm taking a break maybe to look at the data, to look at my records, to see if I'm really following uh, the training program. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, we're taking a moment away from work, which may indicate that you need a break. You may need some time to rest up. You may need time to think about things. Some of you may take in all this data along with the break. And you may say, "Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to hang in there. I tend to think that with the Seven of Pentacles that you're really close, that maybe just a temporary um, break would be beneficial and to get back in the game. But, you know, this is a, about resources. It's about nurturing and taking the time and the energy to take care of this pentacle bush. So this can be a message to you that you have things to take care of, things that you're tending to, and to either look at of how you're doing, how well you're doing perhaps, is there a way you can make it better or find some other way to handle things, if that makes any sense. 
but there is this stepping away from the work, stepping away from the energy that you're putting into. You simply may need to catch your breath before you dive right back in to all of the energy that needs to be expended in order to take care of this bush. So then we have the Emperor, Major Arcana. And the Emperor is a card of, a card of an experienced leader, someone who takes charge of situations, someone who institutes and makes sure that there's a structure and that there's order and that people are all doing right by the rules so that everybody can be safe and happy and prosper. So by and large, this emperor is benevolent and is kind-hearted and is looking out for the best, but there is a sense of, you know, everyone needs to fall in line and follow the rules. So it speaks to hierarchy. It speaks to leadership and really at the top here that we get our directives from the top. So whether you're dealing with someone who's in a supervisory position at the office, that Tuesday could be a day where you're having meetings with the boss, you're having to deliver a report to the boss. Um, for some of you that may apply. For others, perhaps it's a sense of taking charge again of your own life and your own projects and things that you're trying to do, of having confidence of taking the lead, of acting, and of being organized in your own way to, to accomplish things. The Emperor is about structure. It's about um, using your confidence in order to make good decisions. And the decisions often follow structure, organization, set of rules perhaps sometimes we think of the emperor as a uh, a male figure or a authority figure i would just say whether it's male or female that someone with authority who you're either having to please in some form or who is working with you so interesting cards for the day let's take a look at what we have in terms of numerology we have 21 and 7 is 28, 28 and 4 is 32, and 32 reduces to 5, and 5 is about um, new cycles, it's about the need to be flexible, being able to adapt, and uh, can be challenges too, conflicts or challenges. And then finally, let's choose a card for an affirmation for the day. Life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Hmm. Perhaps we might even think about virility with the emperor as well. So your life force, follow your passions and, um, you know, sexual, uh, sexual and sensual powers are increased. So there, have that. That's a good one. Anyway, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.